good people of the interwebs. So 10 years ago today, on February 19, I uploaded my first ever original music onto YouTube. It was an electronic song called Le Roman Bourgeois, which I made in a software called Magic's Music Maker, I think was the name, uh, image here, and some synthesizers from FL Studio, which I think was called Fruity Loops back then, image here. And um, this, I was like 18, 19, and I had no formal training in music. I just taught myself to record these things. I was listening to a lot of electronic music and I used the, the chat microphone, you know, that you used on Skype back in those days. It was very bad sound quality, which I, I don't know if I realized that then, but didn't care or if I just, this is music. <laughs> That's my best guess. I will now be honest and tell you about life. concept of uh, like sound quality and, and bitrate so all the music that survived from that time uh, only exists now in mp3 format so this song uh, Le Roman Bourgeois which I wrote I think in 2008 uh, was based on I was fresh out of high school and I studied literature and I thought I was really smart so I based it on a 17th century French novel um, like you do and uh, <laughs> and I recorded it with the chat microphone on my PC and I entered a music competition in Sweden called Musik Direkt. Everyone and anyone could join and uh, so I joined and I got to the semi-finals uh, because of this song uh, which now seems very odd. I, I think the judges were drunk or very very kind because I was very nervous on that first gig I had never played in front of an audience like that before, but I was very proud of that first gig. And I put it out on YouTube and uh, moved to Stockholm, uh, the capital of Sweden. And I started studying, uh, I started taking singing lessons and um, started studying music production and all of that. And I became hopefully better at <laughs> recording and, and performing music. And um, it all leads back to this moment, I think, when I started looking back at all those songs that I made during those early, early years. It's amazing how, both how bad I think they are now, but also how I still remember what prompted me to make all those creative decisions back then, which is kind of wonderful. They are like a time capsule for me now. I can jump into that world again where I had so much limitations. And that's kind of wonderful. So I'm really thankful that I kept a lot of those songs that I've made during those early years. And to uh, commemorate this, I have decided after <laughs> much doubt and thought to uh, upload some of these old songs to the interwebs. So link in the description and you can check out uh, some of my old work and hopefully see as I did <laughs> that I have grown as a musician and a songwriter. And also, in a very weird coincidence, tomorrow, February 20, is the last day my uh, all of my YouTube channels are eligible for monetization, which means that I, after tomorrow, will no longer be able to make any money from the little ads that you see on my videos. This is due to uh, a big change that YouTube has put up. Like the, the threshold is much higher to when you can start earning money. You need to have loads more subscribers and loads more uh, minutes of watch time uh, than I will ever be able to make with my really part-time uh, commitment to this channel. So that's kind of a shame, really. It won't hurt my economy a lot because I wasn't making a lot of money uh, before, but it's just the it's the idea of YouTube not really 
looking after the small creators. And I know there are a lot of benefits to this change, like sorting out spam channels and uh, channels that just copy other channels' uh, content. So there will be a lot of positive changes to this uh, new rule, but yeah, it feels kind of sad. I don't really know what the effect will be on this channel, to be honest. Um, I kind of lost inspiration a bit there, so maybe I won't be as active as I used to be, but I, I'm, of course I'm still going to make music, and this is a great medium of sharing that music. And um, I know I haven't uh, completed my 12 Songs 2017 project. All the songs are written, I wrote them all in the, <laughs> in the correct year. I just haven't put up um, the videos yet, I haven't made the videos. So it's, uh, it's coming, and there we go, I guess, all caught up and uh, in the present, looking forward to the future, I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you soon, bye bye! So there was a discussion in a Swedish YouTube group I'm in about how everyone was tired of the transition where you put your hand in front of the camera, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs>